please check out ivyskitchen.net. Okay, so let's get started with the habanero mayo. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a food processor, a mini food processor. I'm putting about a half a cup of mayo in here. And if you want the recipe, please check out ivyskitchen.net. Next to this mayo, we're gonna add our habanero pepper. I went ahead and I chopped it up finely and de-seeded it. Um, you could add more if you like it really spicy. I'm gonna add some, just a pinch of uh, lime juice. And just to balance out the spiciness, I'll probably put a, two pinches of sugar or so. Great, and let's go ahead and mix this up together. And it's probably best to do this um, a day prior. Okay, so now we are going to make the dressing for the Asian slaw. I'm going to go ahead and mix my ingredients. Rice, wine, vinegar, sugar, ginger, sesame oil, vegetable oil, and some scallions. You can use red onions, but I like the scallions better because it has more of a mild flavor to it. And we'll just whisk all of these ingredients together. We can also add black, cracked black pepper in here. I'm not gonna add any salt because soy sauce is already salty as is. Mmm, that tastes delicious. And to make my life easier, I go ahead and I bought the coleslaw that's already pre-packaged. So I'm not shredding lettuce and carrots. Or cabbage and carrots. And we're just gonna go ahead and add that to the marinade or dressing and mix it up together. So basically, I am just going to season my pork cutlets with salt and pepper on both sides. Now let's go ahead and fry these cutlets up. I'm just gonna heat up some vegetable oil in a pan. When your oil becomes warm or hot, you can go ahead and add your pork cutlet. And we're going to fry it until it's golden brown on both sides. So what I have is a grill pan warming up. I'm just gonna melt some butter on top of it because I want to go ahead and toast the bread on this griddle. And I'm gonna to toast both sides of it. For the complete recipe, please check out ivyskitchen.net. Okay, now it's time to assemble this sandwich. I'm going to put the mayo, have never mayo that I made earlier on one side of the bread. Then I'm going to top the bread with the 